Today, I will be showing you how I organize my LPS. I figured that it was different than how everybody else did it, so I'd love to start. I got really inspired and I saw these all over the internet. So let's just go ahead and get started in the video, okay? Okay, to start off, I have some little random stuff right here, like a little table and... I don't know what that is, really. <laughs> Some unfinished sugar glider thing. As you should know, I have two sugar gliders over there. And I have three categories. My pet shops themselves, my small LPS accessories, and my medium and big LPS accessories. Then over here, we have an LPS floor room template that we haven't used yet. And here I keep all those pet shop glasses. And in here, let me just show you. It's like paper. Hang on. Okay. Like uh, paper crafts and foam. There's a lot of stuff in here from Paulson TV. Oh, and shout out. I love her videos. You should really check her out. There's a lot of stuff in there. I do her crafts all the time with my sister, and I have my Shopkins that I use in videos sometimes. I have categories, sweet treats, fruit and veggies, customs, bakery, yeah, I'm going to adjust my camera, sweet treats, garden and misfits, and no holes. I have a bunch of those as you can see, and I keep a big Shopkin in the middle. I know I said just pet shops, but I'm going to do my MLP ones, too. I just uh, simply keep these in a box. And it says, it used to say girls' toys, but I just wrote a bunch of stuff on it. And here, as you can see, is just ponies. Goodbye everyone who's watching this video. I hope you have a splendid day. And goodbye guys.